IRDs or inherited rectal dystrophies is a group of diseases that are genetic, meaning that there is a defect in a gene that causes a mutation in a protein that causes a disease. And this disease results in a visual disability. There are many modes of inheritance and there are many types of diseases, but these diseases are usually very disabling. The most common inherited retinal dystrophy by far is called retinitis pigmentosa. Retinitis pigmentosa usually first starts by affecting the rods, which are the peripheral photoreceptors responsible for night vision. However, with time, it progresses to involve all the photoreceptors and is essentially a very debilitating disease that results in a profound visual impairment in a patient of retinitis pigmentosa over the course of their lives. Another common, relatively common disease of that uncommon family of IRDs is called Stargardt's disease, which is a disease which is focused on a very specific area of the retina, and that is the macula, the center of our vision, the area that we use for sharp vision, for driving, for watching TV, for reading. And a Stargardt's disease is a mutation in a protein that has to do with metabolism of vitamin A, Vitamin A is very crucial for the visual cycle, for the production of vision. And uh, because of this mutation and because of this impairment, people develop a problem with the center of their vision while usually the periphery is, re remains intact and it remains completely functional. The two most common therapies for IRDs are gene and cell therapy. Gene therapy is basically taking a virus and emptying it out of its effective component and loading it up with a correct copy of a gene that is malfunctioning in a specific IRD and basically using the virus to infect the retina and making it express the correct copy of the gene which is malfunctioning. Cell therapy is taking cells from the patient and either taking stem cells or taking cells and making them revert back into stem cells, which are cells that can turn into any type of cell in the body, and then push them towards photoreceptor fate, push them to become photoreceptors. UPMC is establishing itself as a leader in the treatment of IRDs, and our chairman, Dr. Sahel, is one of the few people in the world that actually pioneered several studies along several approaches that are targeting these diseases and trying to combat them from many different directions. He envisions the cooperation and the collaboration between the basic scientists, which will be located in the same building, and the clinicians that will try to come up with solutions and integrate them into clinical practice, doing all of this in, the single, in a single place. And there are only a few centers in the world that can lay such a claim.